This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Define a variable. Well, here I've declared the variable called your name and then I've defined it. Uh, with a value of spectator, but all in the same statement. Here it's se it's separate. Here I declare, and then here I define. Here I declare and define, all in the same statement. Okay. Uh, and now, just to demonstrate the variables don't carry, they don't have to carry only strings. I create a variable called a num with a value of five. Uh, and then, just to uh, demonstrate that you can give uh, variables mathematical expressions as their uh, as their definition um, I create a variable called expression with a value of 7 plus 25 now this doesn't actually carry the value of 7 plus 25 it carries the uh, the procured value from the mathematical operation 7 plus 23 sorry 23 I've been saying 25 that's wrong uh, and now I demonstrate uh, defining a variable with concatenation. So I create a variable called string concat and define it with my name. So now I'm addressing this variable with a value of asib. Now I use the plus operator like we used in the document.write function last lesson. And I put a dash in between after my name and then an extra space. And then another plus and I say your name. Okay, so now this variable called string and cat will contain the value asib space dash space spectator okay and then I demonstrate uh, creating a variable called numconcat and I give it, it I define it with a value of a num plus expression so what this will do is it will give it the value of a num so 5 so 5 plus and then whatever value this turns out to be which will be 30 so now numconcat will contain a value of 5 plus 30 so overall it contains a value of 35 okay and now just to, we're about to get to the end of this tutorial it's pretty short variables aren't very hard to uh, understand really in JavaScript I've demonstrated um, outputting the variables in a document.write function and alert function and it's really 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 simple okay what you've got to do is just supply the variable name outside quotes, okay? Like you can see here, I've just put my name outside of quotes. And if I refresh this, here I can see asib, and then I've got that comma there, there's the comma, and a space, and then your name, spectator, yep, that sounds right, and then another comma, then a num, which was 5 if we remember here, and it's 5 there, and then a comma again, and then an expression, uh, and then the variable expression, sorry. Uh, which was uh, which was defined by 7 plus 23 and we can see here it, it carries a value of 30 because it carries the procured value from this expression then another comma then uh, the variable string and cat which remember I said would carry the value asib space dash space spectator and it does and finally um, an another s another comma sorry and numkin cat which carries the value of a num plus uh, expression which as I said would be 35 um, and by the way this isn't really concatenation that that's wrong to be honest this is a uh, num expression really oops and I'll just copy and paste this into here and here Okay, so this now carries a value of a num added to expression, which is 35, and this can be divided by, don't be put off, oh, and here, uh, I've got the alert of it, I'll just go over that in a sec. Okay, so here you can see it's divided, 0.16666, etc., and we can, we can times, and we can, uh, subtract, so all those work, okay, and in the alert statement, it's exactly the same okay it's exactly the same you just supply the name and uh, uh, the name of the variable and that will output it as you can see here it's exactly the same here oh, I can't fully copy and paste there we go exactly the same there as it is here okay
So this has just been a very, very quick tutorial by sub12 on variables. Over and out.